Message tonight for farmers who have yet to finish planting. That's right. News 18's Cameron Harden looked into crop prices and found that farmers who have yet to plant all their corn could benefit from the delays by planting soybeans instead. Every day makes some difference at this point. Soybean prices are on a steep increase after the USDA showed less global soybean inventories and much higher demand for exports here in the U.S. Well, certainly a good time to plant soybeans. Uh, producers in Indiana are still working on corn, only have about 40 percent of the corn planted. They're going to aggressively go after corn planting uh, in the next week or so. Then they'll shift over to soybeans more aggressively. According to Purdue Ag expert Chris Hurt, this has been in the works since early March. Well, what we've seen uh, in just this week is a very big increase in the price of soybeans. And that big increase in price had been building since about the 1st of March. We've seen since the 1st of March soybeans go up $2.20, about 25%. That's compared to only a 4% increase or 14 cents a bushel for corn. What we're currently seeing is that the financial incentive on our Purdue budgets to plant soybeans instead of corn is about a, over $100 an acre more return for soybeans. Hurt says the unofficial day for farmers to finish planting is May 15th. But even with the rainy setback most farmers have had, he believes farmers can make it work. So we think producers that are a little bit late planting corn at this point in the state of Indiana should, if they're able to, consider shifting some of that acreage out of corn and into soybeans. July corn futures closed at $3.81 on Tuesday. That's up 12 cents, but still below the important $4 level. Cameron Harden, News 18.